structure that we are talking about over here is our very own very familiar NaCl right NaCl I just want to clarify it here what is the mass number of sodium 23 what is the mass number of chlorine 35.5 right so what is the mass of one formula unit it turns out to be 23 amu plus 35.5 amu that is a total of 58.5 amu right and similarly molar mass turns out to be what molar mass turns out to be 58.5 grams anyway now let's head on over it and let's see what do we have now uh, just look at the structure and try and figure out what's happening over here right what do you see what do you see like which lattice is being formed over here this particular over here right what are the green ones which positions are the green ones occupying do you see what i'm trying to tell you right okay all of these are all of these green over here which are essentially the chlorine minus ions they are occupying the lattice points right and this over here is an fcc arrangement right okay and now if you look at the yellow ones over here you'll realize that yellow ones are essentially occupying the octahedral voids isn't that correct right all of these the the edge centers and the body center over here all of these what are these octahedral voids right okay <clears throat> and right okay cool so this is it right okay now you can have the same diagram look at the same diagram over here but in a more of uh, a uh, better format which you can also see if your screen is on a lower brightness right so this is what we have and as you can see all of these are octahedral voids now let's talk about it right okay so you can remember this if you want to but even if you do not remember it's fine however if you can my suggestion would be do remember this number right okay so the radius ratio comes out to be 0.51 right okay and basically that falls under the range of 0.414 and 0.732 this ratio or this range itself dictates that the cation is currently or whatever is at the numerator whatever is the shorter one sorry smaller one is residing in octahedral voids isn't that correct right okay now furthermore what do we have over here we basically have that you know cl minus ions they form the fcc lattice and na plus ions occupy all the octahedral voids which is our conclusion furthermore if you think about the coordination numbers think about it right you have an octahedral void right you have an octahedral void all right let me draw some diagram over here all right this is what we have this is what we have people isn't it right okay this is what we have so my point here is if you think about an octahedral void you will quickly realize that anything that is placed within an octahedral void is going to have a contact with 3 sorry 3 over here and you know 3 over here so a total of 6 species right so a cation which is you know uh, a cation which is placed in an octahedral void what does that have that has a contact of what what do you think right that has a contact of 6 anions right that's why the coordination number for uh, the cation is essentially 6 because it is in contact or the nearest neighbor for this cation are the nearest neighbors for this cation are 6 anions right the ones forming the octahedral void but how about we talk about the coordination number of anions right maybe maybe you should go back a little over here in this diagram now what do you think is the coordination number of any of the green spots over here what do you think right these are basically are uh, closest to what this yellow one this yellow cation right then we'll have someone over here as well then we'll have someone over here as well we have one at the bottom and we'll have one at the top we get it my point right so we'll have one Two, three. Then what we'll have? Four, five, six. We'll have six cations that will be, you know, uh, contributing to the coordination number of the anion. And for that reason, we have this number six over here, right? Okay. 
Now the point is, if for a solve, the ratio of coordination number of A and B turns out to be y is to x. Turns out to be y is to x. What turns out is that general formula can be written in this format. How so? Think about it. Think about it, right? If A is surrounded by, let's say, 8 Bs, right? But each B is surrounded only by 4 As. What do you think should be the ratio? What do you think should be the ratio, right? If the coordination number of the A, cation, let's say, turns out to be 8, right? And the B turns out to be, you know, uh, 4, what do you think should be the ratio? You can clearly look over here that, you know, you can just by looking at the numbers, you know, you can see that in the surroundings of A, there is too much B, right? But in the surroundings of B, there is not that much A. I'll say it again. In the surroundings of A, there's too much B, but in the surroundings of B, there's not much A, right? So B must be doubly abundant as compared to A, right? And hence their formula will modify and turn out to be A, B, 2. Get it? Right? So Y went over here and X went over here. This is what I'm trying to say. Now, if we apply the same logic to the numbers that we received, we can easily identify that the general formula of something that occupies such a lattice turns out to be 1 is to 1, that is AB, which is very true because we are dealing with the NaCl, right? So Na and Cl, Na plus Cl minus are in 1 is to 1 ratio. Now, if we calculate the effective number of Cl minus in each unit cell, what is that number? That number should also come out in a 1 is to 1 ratio. Always remember that or whatever the molecular formula is, right? So if basically AX, BY is the formula, then X is to Y should also equal to this number over here. Always remember that, right? So coordination number X is to Y flipped, Z effective X is to Y as it is, right? This rule should be followed. Now, how do we go about this? Well, we are dealing with FCC here. So we have essentially three effective you know uh phase center contributions or three effective contribution from the phase centers because there are six phase centers uh 50 percent present uh, contributing to a single unit cell so we have three because of that and then we have eight corners with a one eighth contribution so we have three plus one over here all right what else do we have the effective number of na plus ions each in each unit cell what is that number? Those are obviously octahedral voids, right? So we have 12 divided by 4 plus 1, right? These are the octahedral voids. We are then again have a 3 plus 1 scenario. And hence, as a result, we can say effective total number of NaCl units in a single unit cell turns out to be 4. 4 of Na plus, 4 of Cl minus, right? Okay.